Alright, we're going to talk about the dashboard and the analytics of the Facebook ads. Uh, we've gone through and created an ad, found an audience, set our budget, we've checked everything out, and clicked submit, and it's been approved. Now we're tracking the performance. So this allows us to see if what we've created is really effective or not, and how effective. So there are a couple of different ways you can do that. Your main way is going to be through the Facebook Ads Manager. Now you can access this by using just clicking on Pages and Ad on your own profile, and that will take you there. And what it will be is just a table that has a couple of different columns. Each column um, is one, the campaign is just campaign name status, is whether it's active or paused. You can go through, and if you've um, been doing a, a campaign and uh, want to take a break until you get some other data or changes or whatever, you can just click pause. You don't have to redo it again. And then when you want to activate it, you can just push play. Uh, it also have the budget that you designated for that campaign, whether it's five dollars a day for one or ten dollars for another. Um, and then at the end of the, the row, it also have the total spent um, on that campaign. Um, it'll have the number of impressions, so the number of time they've shown this or displayed it on somebody's page, um, the number of uh, times that it was displayed with a, a like um, button. So. For example, the number of uh, times that um, they showed your ad plus uh, an additional part where it says Matt likes this ad. It shows the number of clicks that your ad has gotten, and then the click-through rate percentage, um, then your average uh, cost per, per click-through. So remember from our previous uh, video, if you haven't watched it, you can go back and check the set the budget. Uh, you you don't always pay your maximum amount bid that you set. So that kind of tells you how much you are paying for each of the clicks. So each of these can be um, kind of prioritized so you can see which one's getting the best, the most number of clicks, the most number of impressions. That's something you can monitor throughout the week or throughout your campaign. And you also can see it graphically farther down on the page, um, sorted by a couple different things. And then you can also export this data into an Excel file or some other format if you want to work with it or keep track of it over time. The other way you're going to track performance is using some of the report, reports. The ad performance is basically the ad manager, again, just in Excel form. Responder demo is, is just kind of says these are the people that have responded to your ad and what demographic they fit in. This is why they were shown it, because they were um, a mom in Kansas that likes Gerber. Um, and then the same with the profile. This just is a little bit more detailed than this. Um, and it's helpful to see who's the, who, who is actually clicking on your ads um, so you can see who, who you should be targeting if you should go back and change your audience. Uh, the fourth one is, is one that requires a little bit uh, integration with your website analytics. This is conversion by impression time. So it kind of tells you the time between somebody clicks on your, your uh, Facebook ad, goes to your website, and actually makes a purchase or there's a conversion of some sort on the website. But that requires a little bit of cutting, cutting and pasting some HTML stuff into your uh, website. So if you're interested, they have a whole guide that you can go through on that. So this allows you to kind of keep track, and this is what you should do during the course of, of your campaign. So if, it, if something's not working, you can make a slight adjustment and see if you can increase your, your, your stats as you go along. This is also a good way to be able to compare. So you can create a couple of different ads that are very similar. Um, but just something changed slightly to see if there's one more effective than the other, or again, you can select two different groups with the same ad to see if it's, it's more responsive with one or the other, and this is how you would go about tracking that. And that's how you use your dashboard analytics for Facebook ads.